up for Michael Ian Black. start by congratulating my opponents this evening. I thought they did as good a job as they could. <laughs> and despite the relentless pandering, Mr. Dave Hill, towards you, the audience, I'd like to make one simple point. I agree with you, Dave. We have some common ground here tonight. They are a sexy audience. I, too, would like to have intercourse with them. See, Matt, you're wearing clogs. I'm wearing Ugg slippers. know it if they were clogs. I don't know precisely what I meant by that, but I knew that by adding the word bitch to the front of it, it would sound like I was making a great point. So I too would have sex with each and every one of you, but I would ask you this. Hold a mirror up to yourselves before we have intercourse. Because each and every one of you is also dressed like shit. Except for this guy. And you, sir, I don't want to fuck. Because you seem like you'd be uptight. Elna, it was a it was a great speech you gave about Tom's. Green. About what? Your sweatshirt? Yeah. What color would you call that? I I, I got green. I yeah, I didn't call it green. I didn't get blue. I didn't get blue. But you 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 gave a masterful masterful speech, which I think as most people here know, was lifted directly <laughs> from the movie The Devil Wears Prada. As she doesn't know better, because this is what fashion does. It robs us of our culture and presents it as innovation. It takes from the Greeks and presents it to you as the Neapolitans. That's not a good example. But I wouldn't know, because I don't give a shit about fashion. I would ask those of you who are maybe leaning towards the fashion side of the argument to consider nature's most fashionable animal, the peacock. The gorgeous peacock, whose plumage has been celebrated across the centuries. A plumage which exists for one reason, to attract the peahen. And when he displays that magnificent feathering, the peahen approaches and the peacock rapes her. to conclude that fashion leads inevitably to rape. I'm not saying yes. But, if Dave Hill 
were to be accused of some sexual misconduct. <laughs> How many of us in this room would be surprised? <laughs> when they asked us, were you surprised that Dave Hill was accused of sexual misconduct? You would say, not really. And they would say, why not? And you would say, I mean, just look at the guy. <laughs> Those of us in greasy sweatpants, stained sweatshirts, Dr. Pepper t-shirts, <laughs> people like me, we don't wait. <laughs> we molest. I'd also like you to know that the muddled thinking which was presented as evidence of uh, comforts <laughs> lesser attributes <laughs> that muddled thinking has created an entirely extemporaneous speech before you here this evening. A speech which needed not PowerPoint presentations or glittery note cards. A speech which came from that part of the body which needs to be protected at all times, sometimes even by denim. The heart. I have, how much time do I have? Two minutes. Two minutes. I would like to say this as I head towards the home stretch. Fashion is, by definition, exclusive. It is that thing which creates boundaries, social signifiers, prejudice, and yes, racism. <laughs> Comfort is inclusive. It is warmness. How many times have you come home from a hard day of work, exhausted, and said to your significant other, Honey, I've had a terrible day, I'm going to draw a bath, and then slip into something more fashionable. <laughs> the purpose of fashion is manifold. Perhaps to find a mate. What is the purpose of finding a mate? To find somebody that you can be with for all of time. Somebody with whom you can find what comfort, the comfort to be yourself. Perhaps fashion is seeking status or power. Why do you need status and power? Because there is something in you that is uncomfortable with yourself. This is why the ladies Wear that stupid shit. <laughs> fashion can ruin fashion. Comfort cannot ruin comfort. The wrong clutch, the wrong bauble, the wrong pontiff cap. <laughs> formed mousetrap dress. <laughs> that is not the same in comfort. Every sweatshirt goes with every pair of sweatpants. <laughs> every pajama bottom goes with every oversized Garfield nightie. 